So uh, let's talk about some video things you can do in gen before we talk about other modulation methods. Before I was doing the rotation outside of uh, the gen object and I just remembered that that's uh, unnecessary. Uh, it's, there's a simpler way to do it within gen. Um, so you can just come over here and use the sample object um, and you can use the norm operator in this case uh, to take the coordinates from the video that you're inputting and uh, reverse the y-axis, uh, which is cool. Um, you could also reverse the x-axis if you want by doing this negative multiplication. So this is more of a more accurate mirror reflection of what I'm doing. Uh, there's other uh, things that you could do as well. Now that I come to this topic, um, you could also do, for example, I don't know, use a torus displacement so that your video is being modified by a torus. So this creates really interesting and very complicated patterns out of very little effort. Uh, the only thing I would mention about all of this is that uh, because this, this is just because this is JIT.gen, this is all running from your CPU, so this is probably going to take a lot of computing power. Um, so just be aware of that. It's not going to be the most efficient or computationally light load. But it's really cool how you can create really complex patterns from really not that much effort. Like the patch itself looks quite simple. Um, and we're just using these basic ideas and connecting them all together to do something very interesting and cool. Um, and it doesn't have to be a torus, we could do a sphere, I guess. Um, and it's what, what this is essentially doing is that it's taking uh, my video input and kind of like applying the coordinates that follow the, fun like the, the, the equation of a sphere and applying that in two dimensions. Um, I can also mix it with the original one so that it doesn't look that messed up. So I can come over here and mix it. Um, and I'm going to mix it by 0 0.1. So you can also like kind of bend the video input in space a little bit. Um, I'll increase the mix. Maybe not that much. So you can bend that so that the, the video that you're sending into the dust is not going to be that predictable. It's not going to be that uh, human-like anymore, anyways. Um, you can also do kind of like uh, kaleidoscope-esque things over here. So for example, I can come over here and I have flipped this current video on the X and the Y axis. I can also leave it as it used to be without being flipped. So I'm going to add the original one with the flipped one. So now you have both versions, the, the one that's flipped and the one that isn't. Um, you can clip, keep flipping it, so like I'm going to uh, add a new sample and I'm going to just flip the x-axis and not the y and not the y-axis. So we have a kind of like a kaleidoscope made out of dust and the video input, which can be cool. I'm going to get outside of the frame. I'm just going to put in my finger. Can look pretty interesting, I think. So yeah, that's just another suggestion of stuff that you can do when uh, working with uh, Jit.gen and video source. Uh, let's look at other um, modulation sources. This is pretty cool, I like it. <laughs> 